Stardew Valley is a game that is absolutely filled with glitches. Glitches are bad, but don't feel too bad since Mr. Concerned Ape himself said it's fine. The first and most important glitch that you should know is the item ID glitch. If you use these codes with the square brackets as your name, you will get the items whenever someone says your name. Here is a list of the best items and their respective item IDs. You can either start playing the game with these codes as your name or you can head to the wizard's basement and change your name in an existing playthrough. Now that you have an absolute degenerate name, just speak to some people like Gus until they say your name. Sometimes people won't say your name reliably this is where the telephone comes in buy yourself a telephone from robin and use it to call clint for some reason he will always say your name on the phone thereby guaranteeing you some free loot if you for some reason don't want to change your name there is another way to use this glitch when buying an animal from marnie you can name your animal using these item codes thereby allowing you to get any item without having to change your name this is a very overpowered glitch use it wisely as you might know, animals are amazing. Most animals in the game will either make you tons of money or just provide a ton of value, like these milkers here. But they need to eat. Of course, you could just cut down grass on your farm and buy some hay from Marnie, but there is something else you can do. As you might know, grass dies in winter. Look at how empty my farm is. However, there is a small glitch with this. If you use a grass starter on your farm during winter, the grass will stay on your farm. However, if you quit the game and enter back in, it will all be gone. We can still leverage this if we use grass starters wisely. As you know grass grows from grass and this growth is dramatically increased on the change of a season. So on the very last day of winter plant a bunch of grass starters on your farm. Do not quit the game. Instead just sleep and wake up in spring. Would you look at that? Look at how much grass appeared. This might be enough to keep my milkers happy for the rest of the season. Speaking of milkers, cows and goats will start to produce large milk once they actually like you. The benefit of large milk is that you can place these into a cheese press to produce gold quality cheese. One of the best healing foods in the game. So let's just use a little glitch to take a cow from zero hearts to maximum hearts in a single day. All you need is a milk pail and to know how to use animation cancelling. Whenever you milk a cow they will gain some friendship points so just attempt to milk them and then use animation cancelling to cancel it before the milking is complete. They will still gain friendship points and you can continue to do this the entire day until they are maxed out in friendship. This works on both cows and goats. The biggest and most impactful glitch in Stardew Valley is subscribing to this channel. You will gain an unlimited amount of Stardew Valley videos. Use it wisely. Wood is very important in Stardew Valley. Hardwood is even more important, but it's also harder to get. If I had known about this glitch, maybe my ex would still be here. But there is a way to get hardwood earlier in Stardew Valley. As you know, there is a hidden mystical secret forest that gets wood, hardwood, every single morning. You will need at least a copper pickaxe to harvest this wood, but you need a silver pickaxe to be able to access it. Or do you? No. Just get yourself a chair. The greasier the better. Place it right over here by the log and just simply sit on it look at that we can just jump over the log with a chair and get that wood now to get back over the log just move the chair over to the other side hardwood is needed for the community center house upgrades casks and most importantly to fix the boat to get to ginger island so start collecting that hardwood early as you might know there are a bunch of secret gifts you can get from fishing but they are all kind of boring except for the amazing iridium crobus the problem is that you need to be a truly god level fisher to get this thing as you need to be at level 50 15 fishing or do you of course not just stand right over here above leah's cottage and spam the attack button this will make you slowly edge forward and eventually you will be off the map this is the out of bounds glitch then just struggle and walk down until you somehow end up walking on water then walk to the spot where you would usually get the statue and cast your line using this method you can get the legendary iridium crobus on the second day in a brand new playthrough the out of bounds glitch can also be used over here do the exact same thing. Slowly and annoyingly stumble your way onto the other side of the map until you get to the quarry. Then with the help of a chair you can jump onto this area of the map. This is usually blocked and only unlocks after the fifth day. Getting here earlier will allow you to dive into the mines on day one. 
This glitch is very small but can still be incredible if you are like me, you love salmon berry season. These little berries will spawn on these bushes and they are a really reliable way to get energy and health. However, you can do something to cause you to get extra salmon berries. This is how it works. During salmon berry season, if you quit the game and open it up again, for some reason more bushes will suddenly have salmon berries. You can do this during every single day in salmon berry and blackberry season. However, if you are level 10 foraging and eat a buffed up tropical curry, each bush will get you a very impressive 4 berries each. Do you want to print a rhythm all without having to actually enter the treacherous skull cavern? Of course you do. And all you need to do is get 4 candles at the end of your third year. This is really easy to do. Just make 1 million gold, reach level 10 in every skill and complete the community center. It really is that easy. Then collect your little statue of perfection, a statue that will print a rhythm all every single day. But wait, this video is about glitches, so let's just get more, right? Luckily it's easy. Fill up your inventory hit the statue so that it floats in the air like this. The game will then think that you don't have one, then click on the altar to collect another one. Repeat these steps to get as many statues as you want. No harm, no foul. Key gems are extremely important, you need them to buy some of the best items in the entire game. To get key gems you will either need to complete these really tedious and sometimes difficult quests or hunt enemies in the mine and hope that you are lucky. Unfortunately I am never lucky so I usually just abuse the game mechanics and cheat my way to success. This glitch only works if you have found an overwhelming majority of the golden walnuts. Once you have most of them hit the type key and type forward slash recount nuts. The game will immediately give you some extra golden walnuts but you already have all of the island upgrades so what do you do with this stuff? Trade those golden walnuts in for more key gems at Mr. Key's store. After you have traded your nuts then type recount nuts again and do it again and do it over and over until you have more key gems than you will ever need. Journey of the Prairie King is one of the most frustrating things in Stardew Valley. There is also an achievement with this arcade game where you have to beat the entire game without being hit once. This is most likely the hardest achievement in the game but let's just abuse the mechanics of the game to beat it easily. All you need to do is beat around without getting hit, then hit the escape key, run to your bed and sleep. When you use the arcade machine again, you can continue on your adventure. Do this for each and every level as you complete it without being hit. If you do happen to get hit, quit and reset the entire game, then try that level again. The save scumming mechanism will allow you to beat the game without being hit, without restarting every time, giving you the hardest achievement in the game with ease. It is not a myth that Stardew Valley is riddled with glitches, but here are 13 incredible myths that I absolutely busted. Thanks for watching, but for now, I will see you in the next video.